Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 4 Not Really for Children video. Before I get started, I'm going to plug my webcomic Teen Spider Adventures, going on at the website barstoolentertainment.com. Link on the front page of my channel. If I did things right, a link will appear in this video. In a previous video, I showed you some places to go to in, in, in Algonquin in GTA 4 to get some heavy firepower. Grenades, combat pistol, and carbine rifle are the best weapons in the game. Near that area, if you just arrived in Algonquin, is a question mark on the map. I will show you that soon. This question mark starts the UL paper missions. It is either a shady government organization or a cover corporation. Either way, back in the video Love Interest, you are introduced to Michelle. Turns out she works for this group. If you have played to this point, you know she lied to you. The mission ends in a chase, which I hate because GTA 4 gives excessive lead to the quarry and driving controls are not as solid as GTA 5. I usually fail the mission on the first try or two. I will probably put in some annoying fast forwards as well. Let's get started. I'm going to zoom in on this map and show you the location and you can kind of see the question mark at the top of the map where the character is. I'm going to run Nico over to the location with no annoying fast forwards and we can start the mission. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle, or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellic, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? You think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now. You can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no, 
I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey. Welcome to America. Pascal Estela Dejola. Bushka. Now, before I even start the mission, I'm going to run over to this construction project. And like I'd shown you in the previous Algonquin video, there is grenades. And yeah, I'm just going to walk into that corner there. But the grenades refresh once you leave the area. You can leave the area and keep coming back. And there you go, some grenades. So let's get started with the mission. Yeah, I'm taking a cab to the destination. It's usually a lot quicker than driving myself and it's less frustrating. So I'll continue to let the mission play out. I can always steal a car when needed. So let's keep going with this mission. Mr. Minkov, anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. Okay, if you're reading the first email from v Vasily, he says, Oleg, come on, you're acting crazy. You aren't being watched by the government, spies. Your phone isn't tapped. You don't need to drink that bottled water and eat from those tins because no one wants to poison you. Please get that into your head. Anyway, of course I'll meet you. I'll be outside the jewelry shop off Tulsa Street later on. See you Vasily. Next one. Dear Oleg, I can't give you any more of the information you want. I am emailing my contacts in Caspian and keep getting reports that the addresses no longer exist. Also, the companies you want info on seem to be owned by umbrella corporations, which are owned by even more umbrella corporations. Tracing the money, I reached dead ends in either the Caymans or Switzerland. Sorry, I cannot help you further. Constantine. Next, Larry Leiter. Dear Mr. Minkoff, it has come to our attention that you are attempting to publish a manuscript rife with inaccuracies and salacious allegations. A client who wishes to remain nameless will pursue a case to defam of defamation of character should this manuscript ever be published. Cease and desist your endeavors. Well, there you have it. This guy is in trouble.
There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa, killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. At this point, I'm just going to do a quick transition and get you to the jewelry store. Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. Okay, this is where the whole chase scene happens, and I'm just going to fast forward it to the end, or close to the end, and, well, I'll just save the mystery. I failed, and then I have to restart over, which sucks, but this is why I'm a little fed up with GTA 4. But I will continue to film some videos and put them out there. So let's get to the end. Yeah, this is getting to be a very intense chase and it really sucks. Um, by the end of this, I end up failing. So I'll just shut up and let it play out. I think I failed this three times. As always, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.